Namaste everyone and welcome to our channel The Gyan Center. I am Richa Shakya and I'll be helping you to learn basic English grammar. We've been discussing about the different parts of speech and today we'll be learning about adjectives. Let's begin our lesson with the definition of adjective. Adjectives are the words or the clauses that show the quality of noun or pronoun or even provide some additional information about them. Words like enormous, huge, strong, fast, fun, etc. are few examples of adjectives. Let us take a look at the examples in sentences. Rajiv is brave. Here, brave is the quality of Rajiv. Hence, brave is an adjective. They can also describe the quantity of nouns like many, few, hundreds, ten, etc. For example, there are millions of stars in the sky. In this sentence, millions describe the quantity of noun, the stars. Hence, it is an adjective. Let's now discuss about the different types of adjectives. The different types of adjectives are as follows. Descriptive adjective, quantitative adjective, proper adjective, demonstrative adjective, possessive adjective, interrogative adjective, indefinite adjective, articles, and compound adjectives. Let us begin with descriptive adjectives. A descriptive adjective is a word which describes a noun or pronouns. Most of the adjectives belong in this type. These adjectives provide information and attributes to the nouns and pronouns. They modify or describe. Descriptive adjectives are also called qualitative adjectives. For example, he has a green car. The word green is describing an attribute of the car. Hence, green is a descriptive adjective. I am hungry. Here, the word hungry is providing information about the subject. So, hungry is a descriptive adjective in the sentence. She is such a nice singer. Nice is the descriptive adjective in this sentence. I saw a running bunny. The adjective in this sentence is running. Quantitative adjectives. A quantitative adjective provides information about the quantity of the nouns or pronouns. This type belongs to the question category of how much and how many. Let's take a look at a few examples. He has two children. Here the quantitative adjective is two, which answers the question how many children does he have? I have 500 rupees in my wallet. So. How much money do you have? I have 500 rupees. Hence, 500 is the adjective. Similarly, you have to finish the whole pie. And the cat gave birth to four kittens. In the first sentence, whole is the quantitative adjective. And four is the quantitative adjective in the second sentence. Proper adjectives. Proper adjectives are the adjective form of proper nouns. When proper nouns modify or describe other nouns or pronouns, they become proper adjectives. Proper means specific rather than formal. Proper adjectives are usually capitalized as proper nouns are. For example, I love Japanese food. This sentence clearly states the preference of Japanese food. Hence, Japanese is a proper adjective. They are going to the Hawaiian festival. Hawaiian is the proper adjective in this sentence. Organic products are very expensive. Here, organic is the proper adjective of the sentence. Demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective describes which noun or pronoun you are referring to. Demonstrative adjective include the words like this, that, these, and those. Demonstrative adjective always comes before the word they are modifying. For example, would you like this pen? This is the demonstrative adjective in the sentence. That room is decorated beautifully. 
that refers to a singular noun that is far away from the speaker and it is a demonstrative adjective those kittens are really cute here those refers to a plural noun far away from the speaker and those is also a demonstrative adjective positive adjective a positive adjective indicates possession or ownership it suggests the belonging of something to someone or something some of the mostly used possessive adjectives are my her our their his etc for example that is my car here my is the possessive adjective is it their computer there is the possessive adjective of the sentence her necklace is really pretty in this sentence her is the possessive adjective interrogative adjective an interrogative adjective asks a question it must be followed by a noun or a pronoun which what and whose are the interrogative adjectives for example which option sounds the best to you in the sentence which asks the question so it is the interrogative adjective similarly whose clothes are those here whose is the question word hence it is the interrogative adjective in the same way what game do you play here what is the interrogative adjective indefinite adjective an indefinite adjective describes or modifies a noun they provide indefinite information about the noun the words like few many much most each every nobody etc are indefinite adjectives for example i gave her some money the indefinite adjective in the sentence is some each student will have to submit their project in the sentence the indefinite adjective is each similarly several cooks prepared the dinner here several is the indefinite adjective of the sentence articles articles determine the specification of nouns a and an are used to refer to an unspecific noun and the is used to refer to a specific noun for example a mouse is always afraid of cat here the noun mouse refers to any mouse it is not specific and a is an article similarly an elephant lives more than 50 years here the article is an the thief ran away the article of the sentence is the compound adjectives when compound nouns modify other nouns they become compound adjectives this type of adjective usually combines more than one word into a single lexical unit and modifies a noun they are usually separated by a hyphen or joined together by a quotation mark for example the car broke down the compound adjective in the sentence is broke down the dead are buried 6 feet under the compound adjective in the sentence is 6 feet under so this is the end of today's lesson a big shout out to imep for sponsoring this video i would like to thank them for supporting us on our mission to provide quality education to all thank you everyone for your time and patience if you liked our video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel the gan center thank you